Hey Drive, May 2020, it's been a difficult month in so many ways, from Corona, to things going on at home, to things going on in the world, police brutality, lives being taken. Black lives being taken. It's not the first time. There's been so, so many. And enough is enough. It's a subject that's uncomfortable for so many people. And I'm asking you to not turn away. To listen. I'm asking you to listen to this and to have those difficult conversations. I pray for changes today in my generation. That no matter the shade of the human, they're safe that they can walk down the street with dignity, that will be met with respect and value, and to know that they are worthy. I pray that my babies live in a world where they won't have to watch videos go viral of a man being murdered that resembles their granddad or their uncles or their cousins or themselves. And I pray that they never have to enter a room and be made aware that they're the minority. And I pray that I never have to teach them how to be the minority in a room. I pray that I never have to teach them how how to go through the world, how to go through life wrapped in melanin, because hopefully it won't be an issue when they're here, because those changes will start to happen now. I pray that the skin that they get from me is a gift to them, is a blessing. I don't want to give this skin to my children for it to set them apart as a threat, for them to be stereotyped their whole life, to be met with prejudice and abuse. I want my babies to be proud, just like I am proud of my heritage and I want it to put them on the same footing as everyone else. I don't want to set my babies in the negative before they're even born because of the colour of their skin. I don't want my babies to feel pain and hurt because of their skin colour. I don't want my babies to feel 
hurt and pain because of their skin colour. I want my babies to feel love and kindness and inclusion and equality. Because we've all got different skin colours. I pray that the skin that they get from me is a gift to them, is a blessing. That it unlocks all the codes in life, all the automatic codes to all the stages in this game called life. So they can choose whatever job, whatever education, whatever spouse, whatever sexual orientation, religion, whatever they want, and they can do all of that no matter what shade they are. I pray that no matter what shade they are, no matter what defining characteristics, personality, whatever it is, that they're safe and they're loved and they're respected and they have a life of freedom and they have a full and long life. So starting today, we need to have those conversations. These conversations are difficult and they're going to be imperfect. And there's always something to learn and always something to improve on. These conversations need to start. We need to start by healing our own selves, our own families, and devoting ourselves to love and kindness for standing up for one another and being in all of this together. May 2020, enough is enough.